Hello everyone, myself Nitish and from the platform of PM Networking, I am going to start a session of cloud computing. Uh, so let's start with cloud computing and introduction to cloud computing. So what is cloud computing? Our first question in mind is from what is cloud computing? It's basically cloud computing is on demand delivery of compute power. Now when we say on demand delivery is basically means that the things we want, we can access it anytime, anywhere and in the quantity which we want and when we say about compute power it's basically uh, refers to the ram rom configuration which we want for our system and now here is written database storage applications and other it resources through the cloud via the internet so here we get all the services on the internet right uh, so now we means by what we means by all over the internet it basically means that when we try to do work or work something on on our server or we think about a website how the website is running and everything it's all available on internet we do not need to go somewhere to access the website it's available anywhere similarly the cloud computing works on demand delivery model and it's having pricing according to pay as you go here pay as you go pricing and on demand delivery is interconnected how it basically when we say on demand delivery and pay as you go pricing here we mean that on demand delivery what we uh, want to use we will we can use here according to our requirements and needs and here uh, when we say pay as you go it means that the services we have access to on demand delivery we, we only need to pay for that for that that much time only so we can have now uh, we have now idea of our what is cloud computing and how the pricing goes on the cloud platforms so now here we can see the history of cloud computing here we as we can see the history of cloud computing it started for, uh, around uh, since 2000 year 2000 and in august 2006 amazon introduced ec2 which is elastic compute cloud and further things like in april 2008 google released google app engine in beta version similarly early in early 2008 nasa also launched its cloud services which is hybrid and private in further lectures we will going to see what is difference between private hybrid and different deployment models of community cloud private cloud hybrid clouds similarly now we can see in 2010 february 2010 microsoft released it microsoft azure and uh, which was announced in October 2008 and now on March 1 IBM also March 1 2010 IBM announced its IBM smart cloud framework and in June 7 2012 Oracle announced Oracle cloud now why we need to use cloud computing and what are the base, basically benefits of cloud computing here we get reduced capex cost which is capi capital expenditure now uh, there are two types of expenditure which we need to pay they are capital ex expenditure and operational expenditure where and we say where when we say capex cost is basically refers to ca capital expenditure and when we say opex cost it refers to um, opex cost refers to operational expenditures now we have improved improved predictability on of on uh, ongoing operating expenses now now how it reduce capex cost as we said that everything of cloud computing is available via internet as we have uh, have seen in uh, in the definition of cloud computing right so uh, when we say via the internet we only rent all the services which are not physically present to our, uh, in front of us and we just man uh, we just need to set up the configuration and we get it accordingly so now we, when we use these all we just need to give the minimal rental amount of the services which we are using and for the amount of time they are we are using it so here are some more benefits like we can work from uh, using cloud computing we can we enable employees to work from anywhere so as the, all the services are available over the internet so we can easily uh, easily access any services from our home or any uh, any place where we can access internet right and many uh, we can and third point it's manipulate and configure the application online at any time for example if we have a service or any domain which we can say example.com okay example.com right 
so in example.com we can directly see that this is a website sample website which is launched using just we can think that uh, something is launched on cloud and here we just don't need to do anything if we want to change uh, make changes we do not need to down the service we just directly change it make the changes and deploy our project over the internet with and we do not need to uh, we do not have any downtime uh, so we can easily manipulate and configure an application on or uh, online at any time here are some more features like highly efficient reliable and flexible application over the internet manipulate and con configure apps online it is cost effective software is not required as we can easily access any uh, cloud services through the internet so through we can use directly uh, our browser internet browser which we are using and uh, online deployment and development tools we have in in these all resources similar resources available on the network which is same as application as utilities over the network and on demand cell service which we have learned on we have learned before in the definition that we have on demand delivery same on demand cell service as per we want anything we can apply for this um, that uh, for example we have right now we have a system uh, which we say instance in uh, cloud computing uh, we have instance so which have 2 gb uh, 2 gb memory as well as uh, raw uh, storage of 8 gb and we, we we need more ram for short period of time for example we need to extend it to for extend it to 4 gb and uh, rom we need storage we need to extend it to 10 gbs for many uh, for some time so we can just ask them uh, we can just configure it and uh, use this as per our requirement and similarly that's what it is called cost effective for and we can easily scale down and scale scale up all the services which we need now here is the cloud computing service delivered so where we are using cloud computing we should have the example we should know that where we are actually using cloud computing so when we think about netflix hotstar or any services which are having streaming services like youtube or gmail services these all are deployed on cloud using cloud and different deployment models we have for deploying our services so we will going to learn about that now so models of cloud we have two types of models one is service model and deployment models so when we think about deploy service models First of all, we have deployment models and service models. So when we talk about service model, we can see there are infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Infrastructure as a service is its name justifies all everything. Like we can have everything over the internet, like which are hardware offerings, infrastructure. Like we have EC virtual servers, which we create on our cloud resources database this is storage we all have over the internet so they provide infrastructure as a service and we have the example like emis amazon ec2 amazon s3 and rack space cloud server and flexi scale now we when we talk about platform as a service it involves offering deploy uh, development platform on the cloud so now when we say about the platform like uh, right now my videos are are uploaded on pm networking platform it is a platform for us so similarly when we need to deploy our our projects we need to use like engines like microsoft azure aws and google application engine which we have right now as a cloud service platforms now what are software as a service software as a service we basically mean about software which are available and deployed on cloud for example when we say about google gmail right and google docs hotmail and further things i every software which we are using using uh, online internet services on browsers right so we can say uh, these all are software as a service now there are some more things which we are need to we are using like software as a service we have google documents facebook and there are basically end user applications scientific applications office automation photo editing crm and short editing basically everything which we are using for as a software is is come, is come under software as a service when we say about platform as a service is basically when we get the environment to for runtime it's like as windows as your right and um, aws google cloud all these are all these are platform as a service and when we say infrastructure as a service it's a, they are all the infrastructure or hardware processes which when which we, we can use for uh, directly deploying our servers right uh, like we have ec2 virtualized servers for example we have instances in ec2 storage devices like ebs storage 
on networking we have network interfaces in it now we talk about now we will talk about development models development mo uh, deployment models includes public cloud private cloud hybrid cloud and community cloud now why we need public cloud or these type of deployment models basically deployment models uh, uh, basically refers to they refers to everything which we need to use like uh, how we deployed our servers and how the where the physical control of who will having the physical control of the server like uh, and when we use say about uh, topics about public cloud public cloud having a third party resource or we are using third party services we, which we do not have full access uh, we have any access to the hardware we just need to use the software which they have provided as a service to use or a platform which we are using for example when we use aws we only have these options uh, so we can just configure everything but we do not have access to physical hardware or infrastructure where it is hosted now when we talk about private cloud for private cloud we can just think of our laptop or a computer which we are using currently it is just basically we can have the hardware infrastructure in front of us and we will we can use it according to our need and we just have full control and therefore it is very much secure as compared to public cloud and we can see it but it is also more expensive and but more secure also and because uh, it is more expensive because all the maintenance charges and everything we have to take care of it we have on premises private clouds and externally hosted private cloud on premises basically mean when we are working in an organization its organization have its own data center at the same place and when we externally hosted private clouds it is basically when we are taking services from other cloud providers but we have uh, deploy uh, have controls of their hard all the hardware services and now we talk about hybrid cloud hybrid cloud basically refers to the when we merge private cloud and public cloud right so when we merge public and hybrid uh, public and private cloud we have options to deploy a few services on private cloud and few services on public cloud so we can uh, enhance our security and uh, similarly we can have cost management using this cloud model and we have community cloud Community cloud is basically sharing a community uh, or uh, sharing an infrastructure, computing infrastructure between the organization of a same community. Right? Like in offices, we have a different department, so we we can we have to use the same infrastructure. So we can similarly say that, that is a private uh, community cloud. Now, service model we have considered already. From the next class, we were going to learn more about AWS and why we need uh, why we are learning AWS.